Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be testing out another skincare tool by the brand Tweezerman. So let's get started. I was just scrolling on Snapchat. I normally don't get on Snapchat, but I saw this like Instagram story about this Tweezerman tool. I've never seen it. I really like the brand. I have tweezers and eyelash curler. Highly recommend. Got it on Walgreens, but this one I found it in Amazon and it's like a stainless steel tool. I've tried, you know, the original pore extractor, but I haven't seen this one. I've never seen it before. So curiosity killed the cat and I want to try it out. Uh, just gives you three little pictures right here at the top, like in what direction to move the tool but that's pretty much it my pores get really congested super fast i don't know what to, i don't know if it's just because i have big pores like dirt gets trapped in there easily first things first i already washed my face but i do want to make my pores a little bit softer and to do that i'm gonna steam my face because the lady in that snapchat video she tried it on dry skin and you can just tell that her face was really red and dry and flaky, so I don't want that to happen to me. My steamer tool that I bought on Amazon, I'm sure you guys can purchase one similar to it. This is how it looks, and it's like stainless steel, pretty heavy, nice on the feeling, it's not hollow, so that's good. Two sides, big one and a small one, I guess, for maybe the nose area, forehead, cheeks. This is how it is. And I'm going to sanitize it first with some rubbing alcohol, just to make sure, and then we let it dry. And then I have another little pad so I can put anything we find. My skin is nice and steamy, pores are open, and let me show you what I'm working with. Hopefully the camera just grabs like a lot on my nose. Nose area always just this is how my cheeks are. I lowered the brightness so you can really see. Cheeks, scars, pores are pretty huge. On my nose especially too, look. And I always get like a lot of whiteheads, blackheads. We always get a lot of congested pores here. Forehead too, surprisingly, sometimes it's weird, but yeah. That worked pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Let's try the pores. I'm gonna try this big one. I'm not sure if they use it this way or this way. So I'm gonna try both sides. Tiny bit. Um, let me try with this small one. Do you ever get anything?
out of this area I got a good amount of stuff as you can see this area did get red you just have to be careful with this and not use it every single day because as you saw even though pulling down was able to extract way more you're tugging your skin and you can risk having like wrinkles and stuff so just make sure that your skin is pretty um, it's not dry because then you're really gonna harm your skin so I'm gonna try to do the forehead because like I said I always get just a lot of whiteheads in this area I'm gonna move to the other side of my nose. Okay, so I think that is all that I really can get from the T-zone area. I did get a lot, but surprisingly, my pores weren't that congested. Because trust me, you, I need to pick another day to try this again. But it is less painful than this one because this makes me cry sometimes. But yeah, let me show you just what I got in total. Beware. I'll maybe be doing this maybe once a week at most because like I said I don't want to get any wrinkles but I hope you enjoyed the video this was a really cool tool I'm gonna keep it because this one is just too extreme for me <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys next time bye